wonderful world of Disney. Look who's trying to land a new job. Uh, hold the phone. He just bounced in. That's right. Donald Duck is here, and he's on the hunt for a new career. I'm a boy, Tom, with my pie. But he's got to face the bare facts. When opportunity knocks, Donald gets knocked out. Still, he's ready and willing to take the plunge and start a new life. He's a duck for hire. Coming up next. And now we present Duck for Hire. Everybody knows about Donald Duck's terrible temper. But most of the time, it's just a big act. Donald's a very conscientious actor, willing to try any kind of stunt, no matter how dangerous. He'll read the silliest lines calmly, quietly, without storming off the set. <laughs> But last week, temperament reared its ugly beak. Donald Duck superstar quit. Employment agency. You get fired, we get you hired. But I didn't get fired. I quit. You quit? Fine. We specialize in quitters. It's people like you that keep me in business. Now, what kind of a job did you have in mind? An important job with high pay. An important job with high pay, hmm? All right, let's see. Ah, here's a good position in the oil industry. Oil industry? Oh, boy, that sounds great. Yes, Mr. Duck, you're going to run a service station. Service station? That's a lousy job. Why, Mr. Duck, what you said. Do you realize how important a service station attendant is? Without him, automobiles would stall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy. This nut is going to be tough to crack. But, my boy, what about the mothers and little children? What do you mean? Daddy runs out of gas. Daddy runs out of gas? And there he sits, stranded out on the highway. He'll never make it home for supper. The little misses and the kitties, they're crying their eyes out. The little kitties are crying? And the school teachers are unable to get to school. Children, stop learning. The whole world runs out of gas. It's the end of civilization. Oh, no, no. Come to me, boys. And all because you, Mr. Duck, refused to pump gas. Stop, stop. I'll take it, Sam. Oh, those poor little kiddies. I'll take it. I'll pump gas. Here's the address, Mr. Duck. Oh, thank you, thank you. But what about the front car with some red shabber to Donald? Oh, yes, Mr. Duck, your new car. I was coming to that. We are raffling off a new Zoom 8. Here's your ticket. That will be 50 cents, please. Yeah. Thank you. Now go, Mr. Duck, and keep those vehicles rolling. 
Remember the kitty. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will. Come on, Dr. Dyer. Ta-ta. You know, someday I'm going to go too far. Good luck, Mr. Duck. Little tykes are in the impressionable years. Their little minds have to be molded. I'll move your minds all right. I'll break their heads. In the school of life, it is up to us grown-ups to guide their little destinies. We have to school them through life. School? By the way, Mr. Duck, why aren't your nephews in school? Why, they're playing hooky. Hooky, eh? Mr. Duck, I have just the job for you. <coughs> Truant officer. Get it? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll fix those little monsters. When do I start? Immediately, Mr. Duck. Happy hunting, Mr. Duck. There you are, Mr. Duck. I've been waiting for you. I have a surprise for you. School is closed for the summer. <coughs> so, naturally, they don't need a truant officer. <coughs> Mr. Duck, you're a bundle of nerves. You need a job where you can rest. And I have just the job for you. A lighthouse keeper. Yeah. Now, 
Now you just head out to Muscle Beach and you'll find a little boat waiting to take you out to the lighthouse right out near Old Crabble Dock Lake. <laughs> It's no wonder that you can't hold a job. It's that temper of yours, Mr. Duck. <laughs> now I have one position left. A bellboy in a swanky hotel. But remember, in this job, you must retain your dignity. No temper outburst. That's the stuff, Mr. Duck. Remember, it's the last job. Come, come, boy. You're fired, Duck. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, Mr. Duck, that's it. We've just plain run out of jobs. But what am I going to do? Confidentially, Mr. Duck, I could never hold a job either. No kidding? That's why I'm in business for myself. That's your answer, fella. Go in business for yourself. What kind of a business? Just come along with me. I know of a wonderful business opportunity. Here we are, Mr. Duck. Why did you have to start? This is where I started in business. I built it myself. But what do I do with it? You make and sell nut butter. It's very profitable and easy. Thank you, Rabbi Nuts. Ah, that's the best part. You don't buy the nuts. They're free. Come along and we'll get some. Observe, dear boy. Ah, now watch. They store... and we bore. An unlimited supply, Mr. Duck. Get it? Yeah, I get it. This is a cinch. Fine, Mr. Duck. And good luck on your first business venture. That's too bad. We had someone who could fill that job, but he's now in business for himself. Uh, hold the phone. He just bounced in. Did they pull the old hornet gag on you? Yeah. I'll send him right over. Uh, report to this address right away. They need a duck at the Walt Disney Studios. A boy, a boy, a boy. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Well, I certainly hope he can hold this job. The truth has never been funnier than on the Facts of Life, next on WCCB.